What's going on everyone? This is Sarge and you are watching a 32 man rush on Tehran Highway playing with some of my boys over at Quantic. Yes, right and you're going to see me run around um, oh. as a recon and then kind of kick switch um, throughout Soon the middle down. of the game. But the weapon I'm using here of choice is the M39 EMR. It's a semi-automatic you unlock for the co-op. Um, I don't know exactly how much points you need but um, I believe it's either the fourth or fifth unlock that you get for co-op, and it's a pretty good weapon. And um, as you see me take the objective here, I'm going to do a couple shots and pick off um, some of my targets um, at close range, playing the, the CQB sniper here. And the whole important thing about playing in Battlefield that I have noticed is that it's not only the communication, which has always been a big thing, that has been a key factor in playing with the team, especially on large maps, but it's also um, your map awareness as well. When you're going in to take an objective, you want to be able to um, know exactly what your surroundings are like. And um, I found out that the mini-map here in Battlefield 3 especially is very important. It, it, it always has been in previous Battlefield titles, but um, in this case it's very important because your, your targets are going to be spotted on your mini-map every time they fire a shot. If they don't have a suppressor, um, they're going to be popping up on the mini-map and it allows you to know exactly what's around you. As you can see, I'm looking at the map there and notice that there's guys under me. So I'm going to uh, kind of work the top here, the uh, the top to try to lead them and, and bait them into me. So I think they, they've cleared me out, but they um, are going to get cut off guard here. So um, yeah, I, I'm definitely liking how the game is playing out and it allows me to uh, work with my teammates, use the map to my uh, advantage, and go in and take those objectives. Now, uh, I, I do use the suppressor when I'm in very close quarter situations. You'll see me switch that up here in a minute on this next part of the map. And that's only to keep myself silenced or um, being spotted as easily. Um, as I don't want to be showing up on the enemy radar as often. So here, you'll see me switch to the cage 2002, okay. and I'm able to take out my targets from behind, which they cannot notice because I'm not popping up the m on the map at all when I'm firing the weapon with the suppressor. The suppressor is going to be di a difficult thing to use or attachment because it um, hinders the accuracy and the damage of your bullets as they fall off a lot farther when you're shooting at targets from a distance. So that's the um, repercussion of using the suppressor, but overall it's a really good attachment to use for any weapon if you want to keep yourself um, as a ninja on, on the battlefield. Um, one, a couple things I want to bring up is a lot of you guys have been asking if it was possible to play Battlefield 3 or what I thought about um, Origin being a spyware uh, or a third party program that EA has oh um, forced many of you guys to use on the PC and um, allows them to kind of go into the, your PC and use particular files. I'm not exactly sure what the whole situation is. I just know that it's um, supposedly a big spyware thing. And um, I, I believe it was Germans that brought it up to EA and they've kind of denied the whole thing. So um, I think if you read through uh, the protocol that comes up when you're downloading the program, it should come up um, what, with what exactly is going on with Origin. But I did find a way to play Battlefield 3 without the program you can just download it I will have it in the link of the description in this video and it's completely legal all it is is just, it, it opens up the program itself directly from battle log so all you do is just log into battle log and then start up a game you don't even have to in, um, start up or origin at all and it should go ahead and play the game right from there so um, I will recommend that you create a an original copy of your bf3 dot um, execution file and then um, replace it with the one that I am providing in the description link. So, um, as you can see here, I'm running again with the uh, M93 or M39 EMR and doing some really good work. It's about two or three shots um, to kill a target. Uh, similar to the MK11, it's a little stronger, the, uh, although the recoil on it um, is going to be a little higher than the MK11. Uh, and the, the I believe it's the shots that you fire, the... Oh, there you go, picking off that guy in the back. Uh, the, yeah, the shots that you fire is going to be a lot longer spread between that and the other semi-automatics. But it's a good overall weapon. It's the strongest one, I believe, within the recon kit. And uh, I guess you can use it for close quarter because it works. Um, but again, if you're going to be playing against the assault class or the other classes, you're just going to get outgunned. Um, so I'll be talking about a little bit more about that when I come out with more videos. But uh, another thing is you, uh, or that I wanted to bring up, is that you can get more dog tags. That was something that was brought to my attention in Battlefield. Um, separate, uh, I believe it's five of them. 
you get five new dog tags if you watch a video and I will put that video in the link again of the description in this uh, and you can watch that and it's just a trailer for Battlefield 3's promoted movie coming out and the cinema is called uh, Valor I believe and you just watch the trailer and you get five new uh, unlocks so yeah check that out uh, stay tuned for more information hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick game of rush on a Terran highway my name is sergeant enigma i will catch you guys later take care uh, God, I played horrible. yeah that round was so bad